Today I'm going to show you how to prepare this type of sole using a flip-flop sandals because many of you have commented saying that you cannot get the sole or could not find it in your locality so I thought I'll just demonstrate how to make it with the flip-flop. For now, I'll just uh, remove this string here and I'll come back and show you. Meanwhile, you will require this equipment. I have three needles with me here and basically these two needles are the same because on the side here we can see that it's like a hook right it's just that one of them is straight and the other one is a little bent so it could be for a professional use and the other one is like a regular needle with the eye in the middle the technique is a little different when you work with this type of needle and the one with the hook so later on i'll be showing you how to do with both of these hooks but for now we are going to unscrew this one and then fix our needle here to begin i'll leave all the links for these materials in the description box below And once it's firm, we're ready to go. I'm going to be using the macrame yarn for this tutorial because the yarn is quite thick, strong, and it does not have elasticity like regular wool. You can use the yarn that is made for sewing the shoes and all. I'll link it in the description box below. First off, we're going to use this hook-like needle. To begin, you can start from any part of the slipper and with the needle, we're going to poke a hole, okay? Take a distance of about 1.5 centimeter, it's an approximation, and then you poke another hole. So we are going to poke holes all around the slipper because first of all, I'm not a professional in this area and so I want to space them out evenly before I begin the stitching. To begin the stitching, we can start from any of the holes here. So I'm going to insert into one of these holes without thread, okay? Just the needle. Then I'm going to hook this and pull it through okay and then we pull the tail all the way so bring the other end and this one is going to act as the tail or the secondary thread so just try and place it all around the slipper it should cover okay and plus you need to have some ends at the end so pull out a little more extra and now into the next hole i go in yarn the thread over it's just like a crochet. <laughs> so yarn it into the hook and pull it through. So when you pull through, you have this loop here, right? So into this loop, we are going to pass this tail. Okay, so loop it and then pull the yarn from behind okay from the the pull the working yarn pull it tight and there we have our first stitch okay it's very easy let's do this once again into the hole okay yarn over yarn over into the hook and pull it through And we loop it through this loop, pass the tail through this loop, okay? And pull the working thread. Done. 
it's pretty simple, right? So I'll just do this one more time with you and you can do the rest of it by yourself. Through the hole, yarn over, pull it through. Pass the tail through the loop and just pull the working thread and that's it. Pretty much the same, right? I hope I'm doing a good job so far. Anyway, they are professional so the stitches are not visible on the back of the slipper whereas mine does. No complaint there. Anyway, just use the same color of the thread as that of the back of the sole. So continue to do this all around. If you accidentally cut the yarn, then what we can do is we can go back a few stitches to take out uh, more yarn to be able to join. So just loosen this side, okay? Loosen the stitches. And when you pull, the tail will come off like this. Okay, so just go back a few stitches like that. And when it's enough, we are going to join. We place both the ends like this, okay? And now, with the working yarn or the longer yarn, we are going to make a loop around the shorter yarn. So go around the shorter yarn, then we have a loop now. Bring the tail below and this will form a knot, okay? And just push this knot to the very end. That's there. Now. The shorter end will go around the working yarn and make a loop like before. We are going to make a very small loop here. Pass the end from below and this will form another knot. And now make the knot as close to the first knot as possible. It is very tight and secure. And you can continue with the stitches. I was not really sure if this was going to work, but it turns out that you can also use a smaller crochet hook to pull the yarn out. I'm using a 1.75 millimeter crochet hook here. So if you have something sharp that could poke around the slipper and make all the holes, then you don't have to actually go to the length of buying the equipment. All right, so continue and I will see you how to end the stitches. I ended up joining a tail here because apparently the tail that I left before was too short. So this is the last loop that we are taking. Pull this through. Then we take one more stitch forward. Okay, we are going to make a double stitch here just so that we can secure it, okay? So like before, we pull the yarn through. And then through this loop, we are going to bring the tail and pull the working yarn. Now, to finish off, just pull the working yarn hard, okay? Pull it hard and then you will see this popping out. This is the other end, so bring all the remaining thread towards the back of the slipper. Don't worry about this join here. Once you start putting single crochet all around, that will not be visible, okay? The working yarn and the tails were too long, so I've just cut them off. And now what we need to do is we are going to secure the stitch by knotting it off here. So that is one knot. This is the second knot. We'll knot it one more time just to make it secure. And that's it. For the second needle, 
we are just going to thread the yarn into the eye of the needle like we normally would with our regular sewing needle. Like before, we begin from any point on the slipper here. So we'll just insert the needle. And then it's very similar to the other one before. One of the tail or the secondary yarn has to be out on one of the sides. So with this needle, we're putting the tail towards the back of the slipper before it was on the front, right? So just pull the needle back and the yarn will always stay with you because we have threaded it into the eye of the needle. Then we pull out a long tail. We don't want to be short like before. Okay, so before you begin your stitch, just make sure that the yarn is in straight line, that it's not twisted, okay? So this working yarn here should be towards your right side. To go on with our stitches, we go into the next hole and see the stitches are very tight. You won't be able to pick it up. So just bring your needle back a little bit like this, then you'll see these two loops right so just pull this front one and when you pull this stitch here should move okay so that means you're pulling the right thread otherwise that won't move so just pull this back and then now you have a loop on the back side of the slipper so like before we pass the secondary yarn through the loop and then we pull the working yarn from the front this time and there that's our first stitch again go in bring your needle back a little bit then pull the loop the front one and make a loop towards the back and pass the secondary yarn or the tail through the loop and then pull the needle back and pull the working yarn. It's all the same, okay? So we put this all around and I will show you how to finish it off. Very much like the first one, we'll take one more stitch forward. So this will be a double stitch. We make our last stitch by passing the tail into the loop. So that's our last stitch. And here at this point, you can cut off the working yarn. Then pull the tail from the back. Pull it and like before, a small loop will appear where you can bring the remaining tail outside, okay? So you bring it out and like before, we knot it off and secure the stitches. And that's it. As simple as that. It might not be a professional one, but once you get the base like this, you can do anything to the slipper and make it beautiful. It's all in your hands. As you can see, the black one here is more smooth both on the front and also on the back compared to this one because here I accidentally cut the yarn many times. And this is all because of the type of needle that we are using. So looking at the result, I would prefer uh, this kind of needle over the hook one because Accidentally, you cut the yarn many times with this hook. Anyway, these holes won't be visible when you start constructing the slipper or once you wear it, it will be totally covered up. So no worries about that. And so yeah, that is it for constructing the sole or preparing the sole of the slipper. I hope now you can make your own and make as many slippers as you would want. I will also link all the uh, playlists in the description box below along with all the materials that I use. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye and take care for now.